Hola, hola. Welcome to this week's pledge video on Live Life Your Way. Now, I know there's a little delay, so I'm just waiting for everyone to come in. I want to thank you for being here. I want to thank all the replay viewers, everyone who is sharing and commenting on the videos. This is amazing. I'm very, very grateful. Thank you so very much. So right now, I'm just putting it on my phone so that I can see the comments. So I'm really excited to be with you and to share this part number six on developing your third eye and your intuition. So today, this is what you're going to need. You're gonna need three blank index cards. Now you want three blank index cards that are like the same size, same color, they're, you know, you want to make sure and that they blank, okay? And you're going to need a pen because we're going to write things down and we're going to pick, we're going to actually pick an area in your life that you want to get some answers for. Now, if this is the first video that you've come across out of the part series of the development of your third eye and, and your intuition, you can still do this activity. I recommend that you go back and do one through six. Okay, that is going to allow you to really have the most and get the most accurate response with your intuition. Okay, the choice is yours, but I recommend that you see all through all of the videos and the way that you can get the videos is by joining the pledge live life your way I'll have the link after this video where you can sign up and you'll get it in your inbox okay so you sign up and you will get it in your inbox with the videos and um, from all the lessons okay so I'm really excited where's my paper okay great so I have my paper here so this is lesson number 13 part 6 Okay, so I'm really happy to do this one because I feel like we've been working so well until, you know, to get to this level. And this is just all about fun. I invite you to bring in as much fun as possible. Okay, this is what's going to be needed. If you get too serious with this activity, honey, you are going to be so unhappy and you're not going to get the connection to the intuition that you're trying to build by doing it that way. You have to be playful and fun. So remember that when doing the activities. If you share this video, you get entered to win a free one hour coaching session with me. And I will be announcing the winner for this month later on this week. So I'm really excited to see who wins so you could still enter. So just go share the video, hit the little icon on your phone and share this video on your page so that you can get entered into a one hour free coaching session with me where we can work on an area in your life wherever you're having any blind spots in that area and uncover those blind spots so that you can start moving and redirecting your energy and transmuting it in a way that really brings what you desire. Okay, great. I'm really excited to be here. Um, and as you come in, say hi if you like, you know, in the chat box. Okay, great. So let's recite our pledge and you can get the pledge by going to my website, miracleswithinus.net backslash pledge. Okay, and if you sign up for the email, the free email list, you will be able to get this free in that as well. So here is the pledge and I ask you to recite it with me. Hi, honey. Thank you for joining. Awesome. So let's recite our pledge. I pledge that from this moment on, I will do whatever it takes to be the best version of myself. I will be kind to myself. I will love myself in every state that I am in. I will invest in my personal growth. I say yes to life and to myself and I completely embody the belief that I am more than good enough to attract all good into my life. So that's the pledge. I added a little piece there that came out 
Um, so if you're reading it, you notice what I added. Okay, great. So you have your three index cards that we're going to need. Okay, and three blank index cards. These are not the yes, no, or maybe responses. These are three additional blank cards. As you see here, blank, blank, blank. Okay, we're going to be doing an activ activity, so have a pen handy. So first, before we get into doing the activity, of, we need to really open our third eye again. Okay, and I want you to, I do this in every video because I want you to see the importance of doing this part first. Okay, because if you don't open your third eye and you're not active in your third eye, it's going to be really hard for you to get the accurate responses. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start focusing our energy in our hands. Okay, we're bringing life force energy into our hands to illuminate us. Okay, and really just bring and, and bring in that power into our intuition. Okay, good. So just bringing that energy, bringing, bringing, bringing it. Okay, great. Now you have your hands in prayer position. And now I want you to move them out a little bit and feel the electricity that you have there, right? That energy, that that's your energy. That's the life force energy going through you. And you feel this tingling kind of feeling or like pulling kind of feeling. And now just pull it a little bit more outward. Okay. Now if you lose the feeling, go back and rub your hands together. Okay. Now you feel like when you do this, it becomes really hard to kind of push your hands back together because now you have created energy. Okay, you've created energy here. Okay, great. So now we're going to bring all the energy to our dominant hand. And we're going to bring that into the thumb area. Coming up to the third eye. And we're just visualizing and seeing the beautiful energy coming through us. Up our arm, through our thumb. Into this area right now. This is the third eye. And the point of this is to help activate. Now, if you don't feel much this way, tap. Tap on your third eye. That a lot of times creates like this sense of wake up, wake up. Okay, and what it does it you will start feeling like a little tingling feeling in this area. And you're doing light little pulses, right? You're not pushing hard. That doesn't work. <laughs> and you're relaxed, right? This is just fun. We're not trying to do anything. We're just experiencing something. Okay? So now I could feel my third eye really awaken. So I'm going to remove my hand. And if you need more time, go ahead and do that. Okay, so this is going to allow our channel to awaken. Now it's nice and open. Great. You're doing a wonderful job. Okay. Now, I'm going to look at my list here because I want to make sure. Okay, great. So now the next activity that I want you to do is take out those cards. Okay, those index cards. And take out your pen or pen, your paper. Okay. And I want you to pick one side. Right. So my minds have lines. So I already wrote what I want to ask. So I'm actually going to do this with you with some a question that I want to ask my intuition. So we're actually doing this live together. OK, which is really cool because you get to see me go through the experience as if it was you. And then you also get to go through the experience as well. So I have three. So what I want you to do is take the three index cards. OK, and mine has lines, so I'm, I choose I chose to write on the line side of the paper and you could choose whatever side you want to do. OK, and pick one area of your life. OK, so if it's love, money or career, better said, uh, maybe there's a project idea. Um, I ask you pick one area of your life that you have you know, that you can go in either direction, okay? So for me, the area of uh, my, that I'm going to be choosing is career, okay? And I'm picking topics on what to do next on the pledge, 
Okay, so what what would be in the highest interest for me and all of you, right, and for you to to have on the next section of these videos? Okay, so I have three options, and these are my options. Continue doing videos on third eye and intuition. That's one. Another option I have is do videos on angel magic. And then the third option I have is do videos on overcoming fear of negativity around practicing connection with spirit and angels. Okay, so those are three topics that I'm, I enjoyed, right? So I'm asking which of the three is going to be in my highest interest, okay? So take this time right now, think of an area of your life, let's say love, right? Let's say you want and you have two people or three people who you can choose from, okay? And you could write, the, just write their name, right? Or maybe in love life you're choosing do I move in with this person? So you would write on the card, moving in with whoever the person's name is, living on my own, um, or whatever other options you have, um, having roommates, um, moving from state, right? Uh, any of those, getting married, right? You don't want to write, should I, in the cards. No, no. Don't, don't do that. Just write what the option is, just like what I wrote. Continue to do videos on third eye or intuition, right? So just write down, right? And if you're having a hard time, you can submit in the comment area, right? You can write a comment with what your options are, right? What one, two, and three. And then let me, and then I will let you know if those are, you know, accurate ways of asking, right? Because there's a specific way that you ask and the way that you ask is just as is without um, should I or could I. You're just writing down what the option is, okay? So you want to pick an area. You don't want to have like five options either, right? You want to pick something that has maybe two to three responses, right? So it could be two, maybe you just need two cards or maybe like myself, three options. Okay, great. So I hope you have that. If you do not, it's okay. You will be able to do it. You could pause me and come to it later. Okay, great. So now that we do, now that we pick the three cards, right, and you wrote down what you want to figure out, okay, I want you to face them down, okay, and just put them to the side for a moment because we're going to get centered, okay? We're going to get centered now. Okay. So take in a deep breath in and out. In and out. One more time. In and out. Wonderful. You're doing great. So now we're just going to let ourselves see what we feel. Now you might want to tap your third eye again. Open, awaken that third eye. Awaken, awaken. And your third eye is now awaken beautifully. Good. So now we're nice and centered. Our third eye is open again. It feels really good. So now I want you to take a flat surface. And for this, I'm just going to use this clipboard so I could show you. But if you have a table and you put the three options okay and what I want you to do is face them down and then mix them up right just mix them up okay and as we're mixing them up I want you to ask yourself which option or opportunity is in my highest good in my highest interest which of the three which option right which option is in my highest good which option is in my highest good, right? Or my highest interest, whatever feels best for you. Which one is in my highest interest? Which is in my highest interest, right? And just play and you see as I'm just moving. So I'm just going to put them. Now I separate them. Great. 
So now you have them on your surface. Okay, so now I'm going to put this down for a moment because we're going to do, we're going to reactivate our hands again. Okay, so now we're bringing in, we're channeling that beautiful energy into our hands. Okay, channeling the energy, the life force, and we're just keeping in our mind's eye, which is in my highest interest. Which is in my highest interest? Okay, and then put your hands back into prayer position. Now slowly move your hands outward and feel the connection. If you don't feel it, go back, right? Go back and to do that and get centered. Okay. Which is in my highest interest? Which is in my highest interest? And know that your highest interest is always in the best interest of all involved. Okay, so what is in my highest interest? And now slowly move it outward. Great. Move it. Now move it outward again and just feel the energy in your hand. Okay, great. Now pick your dominant hand or any hand you want to use. I'm going to use my dominant hand, right? And I'm going to pick this up. Right, and I'm going to place my hands over each card, right, which is in my highest interest, which option is in my highest interest, right, and what I'm feeling for is to feel that connection that I felt when I, with the two hands, when you separated the two hands, this is what you're feeling for, which card brings that same energy, if you're not feeling anything, take in a deep breath in and let it go because you're putting way too much pressure. This is supposed to be fun, okay? Fun, fun, fun. Okay, great. Right? And maybe you have two that feel like really high, so then just go to those two, right? So feeling really high energy with these two. So now I'm just, which is in my highest interest? I'm going to pick this one. This was in my highest interest. Okay. So I got continue doing videos on third eye and intuition. Right? Continue doing videos on third eye and intuition. So good. So that's what I got the first time. And I'm going to do this five times. Okay. So now I'm going to put the card back. And I'm going to shuffle the cards because this is where it com becomes fun, right? This is where it becomes a lot of fun because you have, you're trusting, you're letting your intuition guide you. But what we're doing here is we're having something that is physical that we can measure. And this is how we build trust in our intuition. Because a lot of the times what I've seen is that people don't trust in their intuition. They get insight of what, what is the highest thing for them to move into in their highest interest, but because they don't have a trust built with their intuition, they do not do the thing that their intuition is doing. They let themselves and they talk themselves out of what it is that they're actually trying to accomplish. So now we're going to shuffle the cards again. Okay, so just go ahead, shuffle your cards. Okay, and we're going to do this five times. And we're going to see what we get, just to see what we get, okay? So I'm going to shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Okay, great. Now I'm going to place them separately. I don't, I don't know which one is where, okay? And I'm going to do the same thing, place my hand over the cards, which is in my highest interest. And you'll notice that you'll feel it easier and stronger as you continue to practice okay which is in my highest interest which is in my highest interest okay so I feel this one you won't believe it continue doing videos on your third eye and intuition <laughs> okay I'm not making it up and you saw me shuffle them here Okay, so continue doing videos on your third eye and intuition. So that is so cool. I'm going to do it again. Let's shuffle, right? And if you got a different answer, that's okay too. 
Okay, sometimes, you know, we just have to build on our trust. So go ahead, I'm going to shuffle these, right? I'm shuffling, moving them around. I don't know which one's what, okay? I don't know which one's what. So here we go, separating them again. And I'm going to ask myself again, which is in my highest interest? Which opportunity, which option is in my highest interest? Okay, and just have fun with this. Okay, have fun. You may want to write down your response. Um, but I think most of us can remember it off the top of our head. Okay. Here we go. Which is in my highest interest? I feel this one. <laughs> I love this. Continue doing videos on your third eye and intuition. Okay? <laughs> so cool. So I put that there and I'm going to shuffle again. And I have no idea what card is what, right? I'm not looking at them. They're facing down. You see me doing this with you. This is how beautiful it can really be. And this is the first step in trusting and really building your intuition. If you see that you've done this and you're getting different answers all the time, it just means that you need to develop trust within your intuition. That is all. It doesn't mean you're not connected. It just means that you will need to continue to practice. Let me tell you, I practice all the time and this activity that I'm doing with you right now is one of my favorite activities I do this all the time when I have um, decisions to make you know most people will make lists and or whatever and it's very linear and that works for them I'm all about trusting my intuition and I know that my intuition is always connected to the highest divine truth and you will learn that as well that your intuition is always divinely guided. Okay, so as you start building trust in it, you will see. Okay, enough with me chit-chatting. Let's, let's do this again. Okay, so I separate them. Beautiful. Now I'm going to ask again. Which Now, before you ask again, you want to also feel what you're feeling. If you're feeling anxious, um, then take in some breaths. Okay, and relax yourself first. You don't want to feel anxious. Do not put pressure on yourself or on the responses. Okay, don't. I, I'm right now just saying whatever comes, comes, right? And I just want to be here seeing what do I do next, right? What is in the highest interest of myself to move into next? Okay, great. So now take your hand and you're going to place them over the cards. And you're going to ask, which is in my highest interest? Okay, which is in my highest interest? Which is in my highest interest? I'm feeling this one, so let's see. Awesome. We got a different response. Doing videos on overcoming fear of negativity around practicing connection with spirit and the angels. Okay. You see? Right? So this could mean a many different things. Right? For me right now, it's like maybe this will be my next topic when I'm ready. Okay. Or maybe I'll do something special on this. Or I just continue. So now I'm going to shuffle, 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 right? Shuffling, shuffling. I don't know what's what. Mixing the cards up. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, great. Now I'm going to separate the cards. Okay, awesome. Now I'm going to ask which is in my highest interest? Which is in my highest interest? Which is in my highest interest? And I feel this one. <laughs> you won't believe it. Doing videos on overcoming fear of negativity around practicing connection with spirits and angels. So we have here a grand total of three saying to continue doing 
videos on the third eye in intuition and we have two that voted to do videos on overcoming fear of negativity around practicing connection with spirit and the angels so what this is validating for me because when we when i got this response on the fourth try right what i what i said right was hey maybe this is my next topic or maybe this is something that i could do some work on with some of you so now that i've done this i also would love for your feedback okay your feedback on what you would actually like to see between the three options and see if those also coincide with what is going on. So now I want to share something. So these are the three options. I'll tell you now. Do videos on angel magic. Continue to do videos on third eye and intuition. And because I got three out of five, I will continue doing videos on the third eye and intuition. See, another key thing that I want to share with you is that when you get your answer through your intuition, a key factor into testing the results is actually doing what your intuition tells you to do. So I'm going to continue doing videos on the third eye and intuition, okay? And then the third option of the topics that I would love feedback from you is doing videos on overcoming fear of negativity around practicing connection with spirit and the angels, okay? And um, I find this topic to be really important because a lot of people in the beginning are scared to channel. Right. Oh, what if I bring in these energies and all of this stuff? So that is also another topic that I'm really excited to talk about when the time is ready. So first, I will start with, you know, doing continuing the videos that we are now doing now. Now, and I would love to see your feedback on what you would like to see happened. Um, and so, yes, great. So now your next step, now that you have your response, take the one that has the most responses. OK, so, you know, the one that has the three or the four or the four, maybe you got all five. OK, you want to go and now do what it asks, what you said that option was. OK, that is how you're going to actually measure the intuition. I agree with what you got. Thank you, honey. Yes. And I hit I hit like. <laughs> yes. I agree too. See, it's always connected. And as I am connected to myself and what my needs are and what is in my highest interest, I am also connected to what is in your highest interest. Okay. And know that as you move into doing this activity and you may want to do this with like other areas of your life. Okay. When I first started doing this and practicing with uh, my angels, um, I would do it all the time and ask all the questions and um, in many different areas of my life. Now, something that I want you to be aware of is your energy. OK, um, if you are doing this activity and you are feeling um, anxious, worry or there's a lot of pressure that is going to alter your connection. It's not going to be so fooling. Are we on? Okay. It seems like it's frozen. I'm not sure. I hope not. <laughs> um, so you want to make sure that you're in a good place. So when I first started doing a lot of this, like when I have a really big decision, right? Some decisions are easier than others. So like picking a video topic to me seems a little bit easier. But when it comes to designing a whole program or um, is it in my highest interest to do a, a, a physical event, right? Um, if, if any of those things happens, what I do is I first meditate, I get centered. Um, sometimes I do breathing work. I move away from the situation and then come back to it when I'm feeling really good about myself. 
It's important to be aware of where you are because you are the channeler. Remember, you're trusting your intuition. And intuition can only really connect, um, not that it only connects with us, that's the wrong terminology. The way that we can start building and trusting our intuition is through in our relaxed state. When we have a lot of anxiety, our mind tends to take over, right? And you'll see that in your life. Like when you're overly anxious, you're all in your head. You, you may even create headaches um, and dizziness and things along those lines because you're too focused in here. So what you want to do is bring your energy into your heart space. And whatever that is for you, you do that before you go into making those really big decisions. Now, this is completely up to you what you end up doing next, okay? What you end up doing next, it's completely up to you. You can choose the option that you got or you can do something completely different. The choice is yours. But I want to also remind you that if you want to really develop and trust your intuition, you go and you respond to these, to the one that you got. And you see what the results is. And that's how you measure. And I'm going to say 9 out of 10 times, you're going to love what you get out of trusting your intuition. And you're going to be led on a path that you would have never been able to see, okay? I was led on this path to be in front of you here every Tuesday, okay? And that path became, came through trusting and developing my intuition, okay? That path came from me taking action on my intuition, okay? So I'm really excited to be here with you. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing the videos as well and commenting. For every time that you share one of the live videos, you get entered into a drawing to win a free coaching session with me where we can find out where are your blind spots in your intuition so that we can uncover them, release them, and really move you into using an, a powerful intuition for yourself and moving you in the direction that makes you feel really, really good. So um, I'm really excited. Oh, thank you. Thank you, honey. I am so happy you're here. I'm really looking forward. The winner for November will be announced at the end of this month. So I will be doing a a live broadcast with pulling out the names. You still have time to join. Um, I believe I will be doing it on the 30th. Okay, so I'm going to see what, what, I don't even know what day that is, but on the 30th of November, I will be doing it. So you have until the 30th to, win, to enter. And every time you do it, you enter your name. So if you share all of the videos of this pledge um, of developing your intuition, you get entered each and every time. So um, many, many blessings to you. And if you like to get all of the videos in your inbox, you can do that by going to my website at miracleswithinus.net backslash pledge. And you'll get all this information. And what's good about it is that you will have it in your inbox to refer to it whenever you need to. And that's like the really cool part is that you will always have it available. So I'm so excited to be with you. And if you have any questions, comments, please feel free to submit it in the comments area. Even if it isn't on the live stream, I still respond to your comments. So until the next time, I love you unconditionally. Namaste.